Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Using for loop in a React project is totally different from using it in a regular JavaScript or TypeScript application. So over here, I'm going to show you how to use the for loop in React. So when you look over here, you realize I have one star uh, and then I'm working on a project that will show the rating. Over here, I want to show five stars. So I'll go into the code and then do that. Traditionally, you could simply, you know, duplicate the stars five times and we have one, two, three, and four, five stars, uh, which is cool. But supposing, let's say you need a particular component to be rendered more than five times, you can't do that, like, <laughs> it wouldn't work efficiently or it wouldn't save you so much time. So what you can do is to write a simple for loop inside your render method. So over here, this how to do that. So you do this. This first parenthesis will hold the function that will run the for loop. And then this other parenthesis will be the one to call the function that you just wrote. So let's write it. So I create an anonymous function and then I just detail in the for loop so I want the stars to be duplicated five times so I'll remove this so I'll create an array of stars over here an empty array and all that I'll do here is to push the UI component that I want to push to it. So I'll push this. And then after the for loop, I say return stars. So there's a very handy logic that you can write. And it does basically the same thing. So as I was saying earlier, Supposing you need more than five renders of that particular component that you want to render, you can't duplicate it a number of times. So supposing I needed it 15 times or render itself 15 times, it could be 35 and it will, it will do its work. So over here, I just need it five times. Let me refresh again. And there we have it. So if you've been wondering how to use or how to run for loop inside React component, this is how to go about it. Alternatively, you could have this in a separate function. So you could have const render stars, like so. And then over here, instead of this parenthesis, you just say render stars and then hit save and it will do basically the same thing. So this is how to run your for loop inside React. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. See you next time.